Sporting dogs are athletes. And just like all athletes, they should have a warm-up period before they have an exertion or high-impact exercise. You're going to injure your dog if you don't. If you take a dog straight from the dog box, the dog pen, or your crate or trailer, and start doing high-impact exercises, injury can occur. These are some of the ways that we ramp up our dogs at Wild Rose before we go to the field. The dog comes out of the pen under control. We take some basically about five to 10 minutes to do some stretching exercises, some movement and heel work, lead conditioning, sit to the whistle. For instance, heel and reverse heel. We can do some squares, stretching these muscles. You notice I'm on the side of a hill. As they turn, they're having to make different turns and putting different pressure on different legs. I'm keeping Deke on lead, right? Smoothing up his obedience. He makes his turns. Maybe some sit to the whistle. Off lead work. A good sit. I can walk by him, call him to me here. We can switch over to a little sit to the flush heel. But you notice no retrieves. That's too high impact. A sit, a recall, that works. What we're looking for is stretching, movement to warm those muscles up. Swimming's great, but we'll stay away from anything that could cause joint type injuries or muscle strain. Investing 10 to 15 minutes before your training or your hunting will be well worth it to avoid one injury in your sporting dog.